Okay, now, so we'll start with the shrimp scampi card. And we have obviously the shrimp. And let's see what's in the shrimp scampi bag. So we can divide it between refrigerated and not, and make sure it's all here. Tells me this is an easy recipe. It has uh, buttermilk biscuit mix. It has shredded cheddar. Already shredded. It's good. It's got garlic cloves. You can see that. I don't know. Um, it's got a lemon, parsley sprigs, shrimp, linguine, here's the linguine. handful. Six ounces it says. Then it has two ounces of white cooking wine. Four ounces of heavy whipping cream. Some butter. They call it 0.9 ounces of butter. And I see it's three pats of butter by Pace and Breton, whatever that is. And red pepper flakes. And so it's all here. Does the wine need to be refrigerated? Well, maybe I'll refrigerate it because it's been opened. Okay, let's put these ingredients on the side. And these ingredients on this side. Next one, we've got balsamic and fig glazed chicken breast. So let's see what's in that bag. This, this one looks a little uh, bedraggled, this bag, like it's been opened and closed again. Alrighty. That's where the mushrooms come in to play. Mushrooms, some more garlic cloves, eight ounces of green beans, nice green beans. Uh, the chicken breasts, two. And some rosemary sprigs. I actually don't like rosemary, so I doubt it's going to make it into my dinner. Uh, two ounces of balsamic vinegar. And a quarter of an ounce of Dijon mustard. Give it a little squeeze packet of that. A 
butter, vinegar, mustard seed, salt, white wine, fruit, pectin, citric acid, tartaric acid, sugar, and spice. Okay, two tablespoons of fig preserves. Okay, so let's see what's in this little doohickey. Oh, fig preserves, look at that. Wow, that's delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Mm, I'm lucky I don't eat all that right now. That was really good. Okay. So we, I'm pretty sure that that sounds like that's going to be a good meal with some of that big stuff on it. Okay, bone in pork chop with maple butter. All right, let's check this bag out. Well, this has a bunch of those pats of butter in it. And those are, let's see, it says 1.2 ounces of butter. And I see at least four of these. So I don't know how many ounces these little guys are. Bure, Demi, Sal, Pace, and Brayton. Slightly salted butter. 10 G's. Mm. Okay, so they look like they're imported butters. Very nice. Um, eight ounces of carrots. So that looks like they gave us two. Two carrots. Two garlic cloves. There's like two garlic cloves in everything this week. <laughs> or probably every week. And two thyme sprigs. I don't know if you can really see them or not. two pork chops, and 0.96 fluid ounces of pure maple syrup. Well, don't give us too much, 0.96. And it comes in this little teeny squeeze packet. Of slope side syrup, untapped all natural athletic fuel. Wow. Pure Vermont Maple Syrup, USDA Organic. It sounds like it's one serving for someone in a store, maybe. 100% pure organic Vermont Maple Syrup, grade A, amber slash rich. And that's it. Richmond, Vermont, it comes from. Untapped LLC. Certified by Vermont Organic Farmers. And it's such a cute little container. And broccoli. And it says eight ounces of broccoli. And here it is. It's all in little florets. That's good. Doesn't look like too much chopping there. And one ounce of sour cream. And very good. It's Daisy sour cream because I like Daisy. Daisy brand. Um, okay, Daisy, and it's uh, one fluid ounce little packet. And then there are some grated Parmesan cheese, a half an ounce. Grated Parmesan cheese. Okay, 
So. I'll repack it into its little little packets so that I can just pull it out of the refrigerator or take the ingredients out of the sideboard where I keep them. And we've got, let's see, all the instructions on the back. And so you just cut your cut your carrots and cut your um, garlic and they're using broccoli as mashed potatoes basically and the last time they did that when they used it for cauliflower it was really delicious that way and the shrimp scampi which I couldn't wait to get um, that's easy. You don't need it, you know, you don't need anything special to make these meals with, so. Oh, but you're, this makes, this goes with, this has biscuit mix, so you can make shrimp scampi and, um, cheddar buttermilk biscuits. So you're, I mean, the shrimp really is a very simple thing and quick to make. And the balsamic and fig. That we have five days to, before that has to be ready. It's cutting up some mushrooms and making sure that the green beans have the ends cut off. Basically, and then you cook it. It's, they're all very simple, fairly quick to make. And usually delicious. Last box, we had a steak meal that we didn't particularly care for, but that's the exception. We really usually like all the meals, and they're usually very quick to make. I do sometimes add some ingredients or change up, like I don't think I'm going to use the rosemary in that one recipe. I might change it with something else that I know I like, because I know I don't like rosemary, that kind of thing. But otherwise, bon appetit.